day out here in northern Illinois and um, I'm gonna make the most and enjoy it but it's fun to watch how it's been watering all the plants and, and getting everything to grow and my forest is coming alive which is one of the one of my favorite things to to watch from living here so if you don't know who I am I'm Rita Hickman I'm a body mind expert and a shiatsu massage therapist and my passion is to teach women and help women heal themselves because it is so possible it's so possible to reverse all of these chronic physical mental and emotional issues which are caused by the stress that we're under it is so it is so possible to reverse these things you aren't stuck it does work for you and this is uh, this is my gift this is my calling to bring all of this wonderful wisdom this blending of indigenous medicines as well as uh, science uh, about how things work and really bringing them together from cultures all around the world as well as new age you know it's taking all the best information and bringing it together and teaching women especially how they can heal themselves so we've been talking about Eben Pagan's book opportunity for a couple weeks now because he's got these mental models mental models that help us interact with the world differently so today I have a question for you um, are you more lazy <laughs> are you an intellectual snob or are you um, oh or are you a people pleaser so what does that mean so in Evan's book he talks about uh, that he believes that that people kind of can fall into one of three categories in, in one mental model they can fall into one of three categories Now, what does this have to do with opportunity? Opportunities are like unicorns. Hey, Mary Jane. They, they, hey, and Julie's here too. Great. Opportunities are, are all around us if we have the ability to uh, recognize them and take advantage of them. And the best opportunities are the ones that we're blind to, the ones that we don't see. Our best opportunities are the ones that we just walked right by. And why is that? Because those opportunities that we don't see that will balance us out in other areas of our life. As we tend to get older, I know I have, you know, our brains want to be more efficient. And so we quickly, you know, compartmentalize, make a judgment about something and either accept it or reject it. The problem with that, whether it be opportunities or relationships or anything, is that we really box ourselves in that way. The world is changing at a tremendous pace. And if we're going to succeed and be healthy and enjoy our lives, then we have to be as well-rounded as possible. We can't sit back on our laurels anymore and just be a genius in one area or a genius in another area. You know, we, we have to accept our gifts, yes, but we seriously have to strengthen our weaknesses too. We have to strengthen our strengths and strengthen our weaknesses. Only by doing that, only by looking for opportunities uh, that that we might have walked by in the past do we do we start to evolve and become kinda of like the whole person that we're looking to be so here's the deal I want you to look at yourself and it's taken me a while you know this morning really reflecting on it hey Elsa I want you to look at yourself and decide whether you are someone who values you know the practical and the pragmatic and what would that be things which are are physical things which um, for me I'm very practical and pragmatic that's that's what I tend to value and so um, if something seems uh, like I don't understand it I'm, I'm not gonna follow it if something seems like uh, it would cause conflict I won't take that opportunity either I won't engage with the conflict I won't do things that don't make sense to me uh, but if it brings me great benefit uh, in a practical or physical realm, then I'm, I'm right there. I'm all for it. 
But what that means is, is that I miss a lot of opportunities that would help me evolve and grow in other areas of my life. So that I not just work on this level of, hey, this is who I am, isn't this great? I work on the level of wanting to be whole, of wanting to be more whole, of wanting to be more well-rounded, more capable of uh, handling the, the joys and the adversities of life. And the way I do that is by recognizing that if something doesn't give me pleasure, I tend to walk right by it and realize that, okay, I'm good in the pleasure model. I'm good in the practical, physical model. I need to consider other opportunities that will help me evolve um, in other areas of my life. Uh, whether it be in learning how to set boundaries or learning how to deal with conflict. And that's something that, that um, I actually took up about four or five years ago. I said to myself, you know what, I really have a problem with conflict because it doesn't feel good to me. So I need to understand how it works. And so I started to um, engage with people and allow myself to have disagreements with them. Allow um, them to not people please them, not try to you know fix it for everybody. I said I need to figure out this whole conflict thing, and so I engaged with people who were comfortable with conflict, who were comfortable with boundaries, who had no problems upsetting everybody. And I said, okay, that's what I need to learn. So the next step for me will be looking for opportunities that help, can help me grow in the conceptual realm, in the theoretical realm, the the idea realm. And one of the ways I'm doing that is diving deep into the science of how we heal and how we work and, um, and how all of that stuff works together. Because I want to understand the science behind it instead of, you know, have faith healing or hands-on healing or, or healing that I'm doing but I have no idea why it's working or what it's doing. Uh, but I'm just going to believe in it because I was told that, that it's okay. That's, that's my weakness um, is is doing many things on faith rather than on let me really understand how this functions. So I invite you to look at yourself and ask yourself which opportunities you tend to walk by which would be really great um, opportunities to help you be a, a, a better version of who you are, a more evolved, a more well-rounded version of who you are. I want you to spend the day, and as you're kind of looking around through the day, keep an objective eye and think to yourself, um, did I just walk by that because it didn't give, you know, for me, did I just walk by that opportunity because it didn't give me pleasure? Could I have talked to this person that I'm having a conflict with rather than turning around and walking away? You know, one of the great things about my husband is that um, he is comfortable approaching people that he's had difficult situations with. He's comfortable with harder conversations. He's in sales, he's in marketing, he's used to being beat upon, and he knows how to kind of navigate that stuff. Me, I run totally in the opposite direction, just because that's not an opportunity to me. If uh, coming up to somebody that I have uh, lots of conflict with, um, sometimes if it's just easier to avoid it and move on with your life, then that's what I've done. You know, but I've started to take up the reins for for these other areas in my life. I really want to evolve and, and shape and grow. So recently, I've uh, approached people when the timing has been right that I've had difficulties with, and I've mended those fences because to me, now that social emotional piece, I realize I'm weak in because I'm an introvert. <laughs> I'm a sensitive introvert. I'm weak in some of those social emotional things which, uh, which are normal and natural, which are human, whether it be boundaries or conflict or uh, emotional discomfort for things. Um, and that's where my blind spot is. I don't see those things because I'm like, well, it doesn't bring me pleasure, so why would I do it? So I invite you to look for your blind spots today to kind of, you know, take a little bit of time and, and say, you know what, this is the box that I fit in. I tend to gravitate towards opportunities which are more practical or physical, or I gravitate more towards um, activities which uh, opportunities which will um, which are social emotional, or I gravitate towards things which are conceptual, intellectual. 
Now, from the outside in, I look around my world and I'm like, oh yeah, they're this and this and this and this and this, because we can always see other people's problems. The difficult thing is really doing a, an accurate self-evaluation, you know, an objective one that doesn't, um, hey, Kate's here too, that's great. An objective observation of ourselves that uh, lets us realize which box we fit in. Because if we know what opportunities we're walking by that would be good for us, um, then we won't just have a big blind spot. We'll be able to evolve and grow. Hey, Patty's here too. That's awesome. We'll be. I was just talking about you, Patty. <laughs> how um, how uh, how I tend to avoid social emotional issues, and I and I'm trying to get better at at mending fences and and uh, dealing with uh, conflict and challenges that I have with people. And I was just thinking about you know our relationship. So I want you to look at your blind spots. I want you to be aware that there are areas in your life that would make you happier if you figured them out, if you took them on and saw them as opportunities rather than problems to walk by. <laughs> Good, I'm so glad, Patty. Patty says uh, that she got the, the memo. And that's why she showed up. She's a, a trance medium who's incredibly psychic and, and picks up all sorts of great signals from the universe and uh, knows when to show up. So start spending time with people who aren't like you, who maybe value other areas. Once you figure out kind of kind of where your blind spots are, look for opportunities to evolve. Because if you do, you are going to um, be able to function on a higher level than you ever thought possible. You aren't stuck where you are. You aren't trapped in your personality. There's a lot of things you can do and those are your opportunities. The opportunities to look for where um, you normally would say, nope, I'm not gonna do that. And say, you know what, today I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and, and, um, and use this relationship or this situation as an opportunity, okay? So share, like, love comment comment on other people's comments because this is how we keep the energy ball going and uh, and